Don't worry, Diana. We'll escape this place. You won't have to use this room anymore. Thanks. Could we explain? Can we examine this room? Uh, all right, but you won't find anything interesting. Okay, how do you know that? Oh, Luna, do you like that music box? Is it yours? Yes, I found it here. Cynthia and I would lie on our beds and close our eyes as we listened to its melody. We imagined that we had escaped from this place. We tried thinking of happy things. Dang. Sometimes when we got desperate, this music box calmed us down. We imagined a future that we couldn't have... Have what? Never mind. Ah, that was very depressing, right? Sorry. This music box is important to you, right? Why don't you take it with you? That way you can remember your friend when you've escaped. That is a good idea. I was like, why would she back up like that? But never mind. All right, back to it. There's a lot of talking going on in this episode. It's very messy. If it's not of importance, I'm just gonna edit it out. I was trying to leave the room, but this sucker, Neil, still wants to look around. So, a lot of potions and elixirs and stuff. There are several jars. That, that's mine. They're medicines. You can take them wherever you want. Consider it a gift. We don't need them. Oh, Luna, now. Alright. We forgot our things in the train. Um. If he wants me to look around this room some more, what the freak am I supposed to find? It's a chessboard that Cynthia found, but neither of us knew how to play. So we made up our own rules. It was fun. I think we examined everything. But there's something else I wanted to ask you. Huh? What happened before Cynthia took her life? <clears throat> you don't have to answer, I understand. We had a fight. A fight? She asked me to do something that I didn't want to do. What'd she ask you to do? Uh, to do? She asked me... Uh, she asked me to uh, blank her. She wanted me to give her a, a poison. Dang. What? She had a desperate she she had a desperate look on her face. She even begged me begged me on her knees. <laughs> I refused, but she got that wasn't funny, but it just like caught me off guard. I refused, but she got angry with me and ran away. I went after her, but well, you know the rest. Dang. You must be suffering a lot. Not as much as Cynthia. She had been here longer than me. I think we should keep looking for the train. If we stay here talking, you'll run out of time. Right? It's true, I almost forgot. Yes, this dude, Neil, just like Talks, man. Dang. What the freak? Oh, we can't go this way? Oh, okay. I was like, what the freak? Alright. Got a save point. Yeah, this dude Neil just talks too much, man. Just saying. Yeah? Hmm? Huh? There are two rooms. Which one should we examine first? Uh, what if we split... Up. Normally I'm against splitting up, but right now I think we would be I think we'd be fine. I think we should split up, that way we won't lose so much time. Good idea. I'll go I'll go to that room. And you two go to that one. Luna, do you want me to go alone? No wonder you're worried. I've been getting into quite a lot of trouble. But I'll be fine. If something happens to me, I'll scream very loud so you can come and save me. I'll see you guys soon. Just cause he said that? I think something's gonna happen to him. Let's save the game. All right. It's just me and Diana. We should explore that room. Sorry. Next uh, exploration. Uh, whatever. Dang! Look at this room. All right. What's going on? This room is very pretty and colorful. It's really different compared to the other ones, right? But I don't think there's anything useful here. Hmm. Luna? Can I see your pocket watch? Why? Neil said you received one, so I'm curious. Thanks. It's beautiful, and the hands are moving. So this, so this is time you have left to get on the train. You guys only have a little bit over an hour left, but I think that it will be enough. 
Ah, that's that's just what I think. Since the building's not that big, don't mind me. After all, I don't know where the train is. Talking about trains, I really don't like them very much. I associate them with goodbyes. Sometimes we have to say goodbye to the loved one to to a loved one and take different paths. Who do you think hurts more, to be the one who stays behind or the one who leaves the other person and moves on? I think that staying behind hurts more, so I prefer the op the other option. But I think you're the kind of person who prefers to be left behind, right? I wonder what Neil would prefer. What are you uh what are you insisting here? Hmm? If I understood correctly, you've recently met Neil. Then I suppose it wouldn't hurt much saying goodbye to him. Ah, uh, we shouldn't talk about this. I don't want you to get sad thinking about these things. We should go back to Neil. There's there's nothing interesting here. Are you gonna give me back the watch? Oh, alright. Oh, here's your pocket watch. I almost forgot to give it back to you. Sorry. There you go. Yeah, alright. Yeah. So, uh... That was pretty interesting. So we gotta watch out for her sure gotta watch out for her for sure is this locked oh, i was about to say <sighs> nah, this can't be what should i do if i'm right neil can't say it if i'm wrong but i have to protect luna <sighs> neil Luna, are you okay? Did something happen? Let's talk about how uh, Diane over here is trying to take my pocket watch and insist on somebody staying behind. Um, are there any problems? It's nothing. Did you find anything in the other room? Nothing useful. Me neither. It, oh, crap! I just freaking skipped on an exit. Um, Neil? I've been thinking about everything that's happened so far. Uh, I've been thinking about everything that's happened so far while I was waiting for you. I thought maybe we missed something really important. H have you discovered something? I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. I must be wrong. Let's keep going. All these boxes are empty. Um. So I, oh, can we push this? No. So we just gotta leave the room, bro. Just gotta leave the room, bro. <sighs> All right, can we go up this way? Yay. Um, if you don't mind, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Neil? Neil? Uh, what are you saying? Sorry, I was distracted. Are you okay? Uh, you've been very quiet. If you're not feeling well, I could give you some... I'm starting to think this whole medicine thing is, um... How should I put this? A trick or something. Diana, there's something worrying me. But what's the matter? Can I help you with something? It's hard to say this, but I think you're hiding something from us. Oh, <laughs> that's not true. Why would I hide something from you guys? Do you not trust me? We barely know you. I like, I'd like to trust you, but there are some things I don't understand. I see. Dang. Okay, I'll listen to what you have to say. It's about to get real. Neil's deduction. Hint, choose the correct option while Neil makes his de uh, deduction. If you fail three times, it will be game over? Oh uh, shoot, okay. If my deduction is correct, Luna and I could be in danger. I have to prove it in some way. What should I say? There are too many things in my head, but I don't know where, where to start. Well, let's start from the beginning. The, the beginning? Yes, when we met for the first time. I'm going into my detective face. I thought there was something strange about your behavior, but I didn't think much about it at the time. What do you mean? You prevented me from burying your friend's body, as if you did not want me to approach her. That's because I knew her body was going to disappear. That's what you said, but I don't think that's the real reason. I think there was something you didn't want us to, to see, something that Cynthia had. You didn't want us to... Ooh. <laughs> Pocket watch. What? That's not true. I already told you that she didn't have a pocket watch. 
You're the only people that have that have a, a pocket watch in this place. I think that's a lie. But, but Neil, do you really think I'm lying? I'm sorry. Do you have any proof that Cynthia had a pocket watch? Yes, I have proof and I can show it to you. He did pick up a diary. Oh, shoot. What's this? It's an old diary. It belonged to a person also that also got stuck in this place. Dang. Please read the second page. I got inside a really strange building. I've got limited time, so I'll keep writing when I have escaped this place. I don't understand how, how to prove... I don't understand how this proves that Cynthia had a pocket watch. Pay attention. The key is, I've got limited time. Just like Luna and I, this person had a limited time, so we can deduce that we also had a pocket watch. Mmm, got him. That's why I've come to my conclusion. Some people don't have a limited time. We've all received a pocket watch. You are very lucky. No. Some people don't have... Some people don't have a limited time. We all received a pocket watch. I think she... I think she doesn't have a pocket watch. Some people, some people don't have a... All right. Yes, I agree, that's what I think. But wait, that's not what I wanted to say. Let me try again. I think we all received the pocket watch when we arrived at this building. No, that doesn't prove that she had a pocket watch. Maybe the only pre people are... <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Alright, come on. But that doesn't prove that she had a pocket watch. Maybe only some people received one. Well, I suppose that could be true. You have no reason to suspect me. Please, Neil. Believe me! <sighs> what do I do? Can't prove it, but I'm sure I'm right. Can't stop now. Maybe if I, I pressure her a bit more, I can get more information. Sorry, Diana. I won't believe you until you tell me the truth. I already told you! She did not receive any gifts when she arrived here. So it is impossible for her to have a pocket watch! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry you guys. This talk is just catching me off guard, man. Besides, I didn't receive a gift either. Neil? That's impossible. Huh? There's something odd about you, uh, what you just said. Um, I'm referring to... Um, this music is kind of distracting, I'm not gonna lie. Um All right, I got to stop. Uh, the gift. What the freak was the gift? Huh? Is that odd? Wait, that's not what I Oh my gosh. Okay. The gift? What's what's odd about that? Luna, it seems that you have noticed as well. I, I don't get it. How did you know that the pocket watch was inside of a gift? Because you said it. You said that we have received the pocket watch in a note, but we never mentioned it was inside a gift. Hmm. How did you know? There's only a, one possible explanation. Wait. No. <laughs> uh, let me see. There is, um, this is a truth, this is a truth you were trying to hide. You received the pocket watch. You've been spying on us since the beginning. I don't want to get this wrong. Ooh. No, but that was a skull. When, when the skull, like, there's been a couple times where I've seen something, like, run into the shadows and crap, but. Let me see. You really think that I'm, I'm a stalker, Neil? You're really cruel. Wait, that's all right. Crap. Uh, I think you're trying to accuse me of something I haven't done. Luna and I can no longer trust you. No, wait. Let me try one more time. I'm sorry. We've already gave you enough opportunities. Goodbye, Neil. Whoa, we? Whoa, we? So you telling me that Luna was just gonna leave Neil for? Oh my gosh. All right. I'm gonna end the video here, you guys. Um, like, 
so Diana I don't even know where to start with this crap Diana has a secret and we have to prove uh, this episode just got all types of crazy that's all I can say freaking um, Diana first of all when she stopped me in the, the I'm gonna call it the potion room the potion room and was insisting on this whole pocket watch can I see the pocket watch this and that it'd be a shame if somebody got left behind or she doesn't like being left behind all that all that crap man like she's up to something but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode until the next one peace